भर में आई एट ब्रेक इवन ऑन सो यस मी ओ ही आई वाज आस्किंग किंग्सले आई थिंक ही लेफ्ट Is he still there? Where is he going? Oh, he's joining again. I think he cut out. Me, I'm still 10x you up. You can consent. <laughs> no, I'm still 10x up. But um, I sold. I said in the group, I sold most of the holdings at the top for cash. Um, but like what I've got there, yeah, it's a fair sum. But like whatever. Yeah, as long as you get the profits out of it, so it's fair. But then. Uh, the future doesn't look very good. I mean, yes. again, you don't ever know. But I, I am annoyed out. though because I was like, I had quite a bit of um, FTT staked on FTX that yeah. I can't, I can't do anything with. Should you just yeah. stop buying shit coins and buy some XRP, boys? You'll be alright. <laughs> 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 the only reason I have FTT is because I was saving a fortune on uh, fees, and I had yeah. enough stake to get um, some nice little perks. Like I was getting airdrops, like I think fifteen or twenty percent of the time. Like that was my airdrop percentage. I can't remember what it was. I don't even know what the fuck I was airdrop. You see that article before that. Uh... Did anyone see that article I shared about the Seth winning the case against Gallery? Was it? Yeah. What is that about then? Well, everyone's speculating now, saying obviously that's going to affect the, every other case because what they lost for is the same thing that Ripple are being accused of is obviously selling the unregistered securities. But there's a big difference here. Like I've never heard of Gallery Ripple are like. Value that a few billion, and it's pretty much certain now that at least one of the terms of the Howey test can't be met with Ripple, so they can't say it is a security without it falling under the Howey. Every box is going to be ticked. So I don't know. I mean, it's it's obviously not good, but I don't think it'll affect Ripple in any way. I think it's just a bit of news that's out there because it's such a similar case. But I think the big difference is they're not a global crypto company. That I've never really heard of them, to be honest. So their court case started after Ripple and closed before. So they probably run out of money or didn't have a good enough lawyers. Uh, Michael, <clears throat> you get in touch with the mic, uh, which was recently added to the group. He's a big supporter of XRP, and he has some very valid reasons why he supports XRP. Uh, is that a new guy? Is it? Yes, yes. I've oh, never Michaels, met someone who is that such passionate about XRP and um, H bar, and then he goes into the how they are associated with ISO something with two zero zero two one. Yeah, something. yeah. Yeah. Are you sure you're uh, not talking to this man? Same for me. Like, yeah, no, it might really? be me. <laughs> yeah, it might be me. <laughs> I'm Michael. No, no, no. He, he, no, no. Yeah, I asked Aaron to add him, and uh, so oh, I, I know the yeah. Is he's from? No, I mean that's completely the stance I'm on. No, um, I don't. I see this being used for payment systems more than anything. Like one of the biggest use cases in crypto, I think, will be to bridge payments. Um, obviously, there's millions of uses and whatever, but these companies that I've designed from the ground up to be compliant with regulations, you've got to have things like security, the, the transparency, the audits, all those kind of things. They built it from the beginning, so. I think when regulation comes about, there's going to just be a big shake out of all these companies that are fucking Ponzi schemes and pump and dump meme coins and shit like that. Because the whole point of the SEC is to protect the people and the investors. Why have they never went out to any of these pump and dump schemes? Like there's coins out there that are literally ripping people off and we don't hear about them on the news. But there's Ripple trying to change the financial system and they're the big name in the in the lawsuits at the minute. Answered your own question, didn't you? 
Yeah, I, I honestly believe it. It is. Adam mentioned it before. Like it's something that this is where crypto. This is the stage for it in the US, basically, isn't it? Once this is decided, that'll be the US law. And I think it's probably more than likely this is the government trying to implement it in the US. <clears throat> I, I'm I'm so happy, like I'm welcoming regulation because all my coins are gonna fucking move when it does. I haven't got any DeFi or <laughs> all of your coins haven't moved through a whole bull run. <laughs> no, no, they haven't. But this is, I, I'm quite late in XRP as well, though. But I don't, like, when I first started investing, I didn't know much. Like, I was one of them people waiting for the moon. But honestly, when XRP hits $20, I'm 80% out of it. I'm not waiting to be a millionaire. Fuck all this $10,000 XRP. It's never going to happen. All these fucking XRP army are crazy. But I think as soon as twenty dollars is easily achievable, but if not, they're I'm pretty sure the like they could revoke people. your membership for a statement like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, <that's>, i just <laughs> they're gonna start leaking XRP I've... out of your wallet as punishment now. <laughs> <laughs> Through their centralized nah, but man, it's such it's such bullshit, like $10,000 XRP. There's not enough volume. There's not enough liquidity on the planet to provide that. So it's it's bullshit. You, but you yeah, hope. I mean, enter them. Yeah, well, that's it. We've never seen this before. We don't know. But I just think at the same time, they would cash a lot of people out before it at that point anyway. There's rumors of a federal buyback where they're going to offer everyone a fixed rate when they're going to make ripple a private company but then that goes against what brad garlinghouse is saying that he's gonna uh, go public after the court case and then that's what i really want is ripple stocks fuck xrp i want to be a shareholder in ripple <laughs> that he's gonna change his linkedin bio to shareholder <laughs> <laughs> shareholder <of Ripple. laughs> yeah there's a there's nah, a guy. Be... Um, let me see if I can find him. Any news from Ben? Uh, Dgen Defira Ben. Yeah. Um. Uh, no. We haven't heard off him since the jewel crashed. I know, mate. Ashley mortgage his mum's house. Oh, That's it. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> he just disappeared. Uh, I get the old what meme what off right now. I'm worried off. Losing my bet to ML of less than 10k of BDC. Mm. <laughs> Did he? he, he he's he's so adamant of 7k. Like, I don't think it's it's gonna go there. Like, I think 14 is the this is the final step of uh, consolidation. Now, let me pull up a fucking chart. Where's my chart? Is there any big bearish news, or is it mainly the FTX scare that moved the market? Like, FTX is fucking everything. FTX and tomorrow's CPI data as well. So, so this is the, the interesting thing about BTC right now is we You're would... sharing your screen. Oh, hang on, man. Patience. It's reminding you, bro. Uh, <laughs> like this downward movement that we've had has come, it's retested and rejected perfectly of the breakout of the trend line. Can you see? Still using FTX, bro. Huh? <laughs> what do you say? He's what, what you... using FTX shots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Look, I go down with SBF. I, you know, <laughs> I'm actually quite hurt because I vouched for him. Like, like Grant. But, oh, man, he hurt me. I had different opinion of the guys, so yeah. <laughs> but, like, you can see here. Like on the weekly chart, that movement, granted, that's a big week, like big candle. We're only on Wednesday, but that's come retested. So we've got, if it holds this trend line on the weekly, we could come back up a bit more, but likely not. Like it looks like we're going to go on a downward movement now. Um, let me check a slower time frame. Yeah, like you can see exactly what's happened. Oh, shit, I moved that now. And how do I go back? 
yeah that's a big four-hour movement there huh? and this is what really fucking annoyed me was i took my profit here <laughs> i didn't expect it that much volume to kick in um but i've entered another short now um at 19k so i'll make up for it but the the major zone for consolidation right now is here at this 40 let me go on a higher time frame that 14 where the that's where we where everyone is expecting 14 to 14 5 to 14 2 um so that's the target for the short as well but mm is saying that we need to fill i think a price gap is he saying 7k 7k yeah man he's such a lesbian hey if, if bitcoin goes to 7k i'm fucking selling everything i've got i'm buying bitcoin look at oh, that yeah. Yeah, but like I guarantee you're saying that now and you're still not going to do that. <laughs> Everyone nah, says I'm going to try. If Bitcoin goes down to 7K, all your other coins are fucked. Like 7K is actually yeah, on the okay. weekly quite a, quite a good support. So I could understand that. Like 14K isn't the biggest support, in all honesty. It could form a support on a daily, but there's no weekly support. I, I understand it's 7K. Like on the weekly, oof. Yeah, the seven K makes Bitcoin sense. Bitcoin always won't dominate either. I think eventually other coins will start moving, regardless what Bitcoin's doing. Like if if fourteen K doesn't hold, I'm gonna say ten K. Ten K, yeah. Ten K looks more certain than seven. Seven seems silly, and the reason being is is that none of the Bitcoin has moved in like the cold storage wallets. So most of these people are holders. I think eighty, well, I think eight months now, no BTCs moved. So these are all long-term holders. So it would need a coordinated, uh, like a coordinated whale attack. I would say, like a sell-off to accumulate more BTC. If you zoom out, Darren, uh, my trend line says ten thousand nine hundred. Ten thousand what? Nine hundred. Let me zoom in. I see a big support at 10,900 or 14,000. So there's the other two places where. Uh, yeah, I would say I, it's 10,800 to 10,900. Yeah. Yeah. Let me stick a line there. Oh. Yeah, you can see there, like that was oh, a dirty candle we had over there. <laughs> yeah look that's that looks like a, a better level than like 7k is a strong level 10k looks like an equal level both of these levels 7 and 10k look much stronger than the 14k level in all honesty yeah, like that, that, to break. that 14k level is only strong on a daily like oh my god look how far back we gotta go If that, like, it's not even strong on the, yeah, it's not even strong here on the daily. Oh man, this is bad. Yeah, 10, 10K, Richard Hart was right. Richard Hart called the top and he's called the bottom. Yeah, yeah, look, 14K is only relevant. Too far away, man. Where are we at? Oh man. So looking at 20 in uh 20 August 2020 something. Oh, I'm not signed in on this one. Motherfucker. Yeah, so out, Aaron. Jesus. <laughs> I'm ill-equipped. I got a haircut yeah. and a shave today, by the way, guys. Just in case you forgot to compliment me on it. Looking fresh, bro. Looking fresh. <laughs> thank you, thank yeah. you. I just got out of the wind. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Eve, what's Eve doing? Eve is shitting the bed. 
Eep is going to triple digits. In all honesty, I'd start arming because yeah. you've got sharding coming out next year. Um, as soon as it hits like 700, I'm buying. I've already set yeah. orders. And buy, I'm buying in bulk oh, was as well. That, was that after that Eek merge, was it? Yeah. Done justice, surely. This isn't the Eek merge. This is, this is today. <laughs> That's today? That's today. Yeah. That's, wow. This is today. This is when I, I entered the short here. We just had a dirty black swan move. <laughs> I placed one trade today and then I was off the chart. But I've done the same thing as yourself. I fucking got out of that one to two and I the hell did man pure volume kicked in. I'm still in the E position. <clears> like in hindsight, though. Yeah, I'm still in the E position. I'm targeting 750. Like I'm not I'm not coming out of it until I hit that level. Like this is going down. We've had another death cross here as well. This is gonna death crazy. Oh, wow. This this will cross here, this will signal the consolidation then. And I think we'll consolidate at about 750. But that's a dirty black swan movement. Um, I don't think we even got that much of a black swan movement on BTC, did we? No. 100% no. we did. Surely we did. No. No, no. Nowhere, near. <laughs> nowhere near. But that's because, be like, if you think <laughs> retrospectively, like BTC has just been ranging in the same. It's a shit coin anyway. We all know. <laughs> like Whoa, on the. There's blood on the street here. Yeah. Yeah. XRP took a major hit, so it's twenty percent down. Can that, by can that do any further? Twenty three. But like, <laughs> like BTC is just ranging. Twenty eight yeah. and Sol forty. Whoa, Sol took the biggest hit. But this Sol is fucked. this is just this Sol is pure fucked. this is pure distrust after the whole SBF thing. Like he That's actually it. fucked the market by being a greedy little fuck. Like I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I'm gonna do a Kanye. I'm not gonna say what he is or what his race is. He was Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna just do a Kanye <laughs> here. I'll, I'll edit that out later. <laughs> Keep like, it in, bro. Keep it in. You're all uh, about free speech. Free speech. Free speech. Free speech. <laughs> Curly head motherfucker keeping on stealing all my soul. The, you know the word, you know what the most fucked up thing about this whole thing is? Everyone has just lost bank, okay? And they've got mad positions being liquidated because of him. So he's made money even though everyone else has lost. So all of these liquidations, he's just made a like his bank run has generated in revenue. So this is a very fucked up situation. Uh, however, Cardano, it didn't go down that bad. If you look at the... Aaron's world. favorite coin. What the fuck did he just say? <laughs> no, don't mention that in here, Misa. I'm fucking that out. Why are you mentioning that here? Cardano? I mean, I'm not a big fan of him. Misa, either I'm not, I'm either the founder mic. nor Cardano. Um, but do the... his mic. There you go. No more talking about Cardano. <laughs> You're in the you're on the naughty stool, me Sam. Me Sam, I unmuted you. I'm asking you to unmute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go look at. Cardano. He's really muted your mic, me Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you were saying that is. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just what SPF. was you saying about freedom of speech, Adam? Cardano is the best inflation hedge. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Cardano has wow. barely done anything. Cardano is holding a nice support here at zero point two four. It's because only the founders holding the coins. No one else has got them. <laughs> He just took the coin and held 100% of the value. <laughs> he's, in it for the, he's in it for the long run. <laughs> but, like, um, let's be real. Cardano has a with... single project that is legitimate that's been built on it. Like they've had launch pads. Every single, every single project that's launched off their launch pad has been shit. Also, BTC at 17.2 now. Ooh. It does 
1699. What is Cardano's actual use? 1998 like done now? by then. Like, what does it do? What does Cardano is just another L1, like it's comparable to Ethereum, Solana, Aptos, uh, HBAR. Like it's just another layer one. But considering it's been, what, 2017 was the ICO? I should know I was in that ICO as well. <laughs> but since then, nothing has happened. Nothing's changed. They all of the roadmaps, everything. He's missing dates by not even just like months or days or weeks, like years. And all of the commitments he's making just are never coming through. The guy is full of shit. Like he seems to be the only person on the Cardano team. Like I've never seen someone else that's affiliated with Cardano. To be fair, though, one thing that does strike me, which is similar to the XRP, is how is it still in the top ten now? If it's like it's bullshit it might be a dark horse because the whole coin market cap is bullshit because it's based on diluted market cap so you can manipulate your tokenomics to make you number one and that's what richard hart did that's why he's been uh, hex isn't on here anymore yeah i get that but still it'd be ironic if it just came out and that was like one of the winners honestly if it was, I've got a few mates who love it and I laugh at them, but it'd just be annoying if like XRP lost the suit and then Cardano was like the number one crypto. Be funny, but they have not launched anything, like nothing has been on the launch pad and they just keep. I know that's it. why I don't, that's what I don't understand. I can't why buy it. it, yeah. Like, look at Paul Cardano, they, they, they make a lot of people rich and they're just still holding strong as well. and uh, they come up with good news. They 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 are promising, but then again, Cardano is nothing. But still, and he's also not retiring. So <laughs> he will keep running this cult till the day he dies. There's too much for him at stake. All of his Cardano, the whole the whole undiluted market cap, he staked it. nothing like there's actually nothing on this the only time i ever see his name is him chiming in on some sort of debate like the latest in the last few days is him giving advice to elon musk on what he should do to twitter to make it decentralized like he's just sort of tying himself to relevant <clears throat> news topics like any typical instagram bikini model influencer except, he's playing the long game bro he's playing the safe like and this. steady game he's keeping his name in the mark in the in the media and not doing anything with his coin. It's perfect. Safe hands. Nah, I don't trust this Heiser. Yeah, remember, the, remember the Hydra update? And apparently it's 1 million transactions per second. They haven't yeah. ever done even... I don't think they've ever done a 1,000 transactions a second. Where the fuck are they getting a million from? <laughs> There's not enough transactions even occurring on that chain. No, think about it. No, <laughs> it. Like, when you're sending coins, like, someone open exchange. Has anyone got an exchange open? Like, if you were to transfer Cardano, what option and what chain does it give you to send it for? Through, I guarantee it doesn't use Cardano's chain to send it. It, it does. Be, it does? It does. I'm almost certain it does. Do you not remember when I was buying NFTs? I thought it was at ERC20. I'm pretty I sure I said it on the Cardano chain because I tried to yeah. use Ripple and Ripple wasn't working. Yeah, I think it's ERC20. Like, I think that's the chain they use because I don't I'm know of an exchange that's integrated the chain. I know, but I know I I try I try I transferred my money I transferred my tokens across or coins or whatever, um, and purposely <laughs> used Cardano because I didn't want to use the ERC20 um, network because it was. Oh, because of its own chain. Hmm. Maybe it look, it might be the case. Chain. It was really cheap. It was good. It was a good. Cold. Was it a good experience? Well, better than Ripple. <laughs> no <laughs> shit, bro. My Ripple oh, didn't shit. turn up. I was pissed. Ah, uh, no why your Ripple didn't turn up. Did you put your memo in it? Yeah. With Ripple Did transactions, everything. you have to use a memo or you can lose your token. Well, like some coins don't ask for a memo, but that's another thing as well. Some of the higher security chains, they all use memos. Yeah, Binance <laughs> is um, always requesting memos. If you use yeah, the uh, that could be why it didn't work. Pep, though. Pep twenty yeah, chains yeah, and stuff. Even um, do you know what's a good chain? Like they have just a lot of adoption of other coins. Is that Tron chain? Like 
whatever his name is, not Stu... Justin's the, son. Justin's son. Like, Justin's son. Granted, he's a bit of a, like, waste man calling himself his excellency, but the his chain is actually functioning. It doesn't... You don't hear of any downtime. You don't hear any bullshit, any corruption or any of this bullshit going on. Like, the guy's just building. Yeah, like, but... This guy's a billionaire and he's fucking linked up. And I, I, I just, I was heavily invested in his projects, Bit, BitTorrent, all of them. Like, oh, BitTorrent is I a proper I genuinely scam. believe. No, but even when he done so, like, have you all used like BitTorrent before? And you had to, like, you know, about seeding and stuff like that. So, like, oh. what he'd implemented, would you you'd be rewarded for seeding your download? So it actually incentivizes and monetizes it, which I think is a great idea. Because every time I download something, I just stop seeding. I don't want to be using data. So, like, that actually solves that problem. I thought, yeah, that could be good. And then, obviously, the Tron. And it's got loads of fucking projects. But wasn't this kind of just, like, supporting uh, copyright issues and stuff like that? Um, I, yeah. Well, I tried it, and it didn't work. So yeah. I sold it. I went on it and tried to use it. Download the bits on them. See, I thought, well, what if you like downloaded like fucking Justin Bieber's album on the release day and then seeded it, and then you could be getting paid for like selling people Justin Bieber album? Use yeah, that for an example because it'd be fucking you're high paid to basically copyright illegally so, sell songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you, it basically makes everyone complicit in a crime. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's great. It's a He's... great idea, but it doesn't work. I didn't get fucking paid. I reckon this was a, this was definitely a government coin that was created. government capture <laughs> capture system to get yeah. all you dirty torrenters get all the torrenters a hundred percent they were trying to get all of, all of you little copywriters Michael downloading Justin Bieber albums <laughs> on the day of release don't forget <laughs> on the day of release of all things as well like you could have said anything in this instance but now on YouTube you're going to be saying that you downloaded Justin Bieber's album. On release yeah, date. Yeah, but I, I already backed it up, so I'm I'm fine, lad. <laughs> the <laughs> highest watch fucking YouTube, lad. <laughs> no, but it's 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 a good idea, and the only reason I sold it is purely because it didn't work. They sell all these roadmaps, but when you actually go on, it's the same with that metaverse shit. Has anyone actually been in that fucking decentraland shit? Yeah. I, I used space. to. Um, I used to. And they absolutely it. pump. <laughs> It's fucking awful, mate. The fucking got better graphics on a fucking Nintendo color, I Game Boy color. Killing on mana. I was making <laughs> a killing with mana, gambling with it. But yeah, it is. You're right. Like all of the land grabs that were done when you're zoomed out, it just looks like a giant ad space. It looks no different to like dot com bubble times when you had websites that were being created just spammed with adverts. And there's still those sites that, that exist today. The future armor. And they go in the metaverse and there's just like fucking ads flying through the sky and shit. That's the world. I so honestly like, think a that's lot of the world projects, we're moving into. Oh, for sure, man. Like fucking Matt Groden, he, he told us years ago. <laughs> he could have just done everything he said. Fucking. I can't wait for that world. <laughs> He's actually just <laughs> mastered the law of attraction on such a global universal scale. Well, I spend a lot of time in VR. Man, he's a time traveler. Like He's a time traveler, then, man. Definitely. I think this Horizons workroom yeah. is pretty good as well. On for, from Meta Horizon, look at it. Yeah. Let me have a look. I um I watched the video of. I'm actually very impressed with what's the um VR headset they've got. The um MetaQuest Pro. Quest. Yeah. New one. I was watching um a video of that where the woman's wearing it and she's almost replicated her desk and she's like. She can change the scenery. Yeah, they just, her. they just, yeah, they just, um, they just updated the all the quests to have the pass through system. So I can sit on my, I can sit up, like I, I only play it on my bed. So when I'm when I'm playing poker, I can cut, I can cut like a box out of my VR and like have a and look at my laptop or my TV or whatever. It's pretty good. These Do you know who the ball it is in this space though? The Microsoft HoloLens. It's, oh. And they use the Microsoft Mesh, it's called. They're like two and a half, three thousand a piece, but they're targeting commercials. 
So I know people now who work in like big pharma companies and they, they're testing them in there. So like there's all sorts of, you can connect with team leaders. They can watch you do They haven't work. brought it yeah, out though. Like, like, it's He's out, out but I'm version two. The, um, I know no, uh, this, is, this is what I found. The military actually failed. And but HoloLens too. Where is it? I haven't seen it. Where is it? Can you buy it? Yeah, HoloLens too. But it's it's mainly still for developers. Like a lot of this, this has been going on way before Meta got announced. This project's been running for a good 10 years at least. I remember when we were talking about it in uni. Yeah, but they were looking at just from the virtual reality aspect. Like, let's not confuse like VR. From, with AR, yeah, well, the more AR. AR, yeah, this is more AR. This, this is no, this really is this VR is AR. Game. It's not VR. It's yeah. it's, 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 a, it's an overlay, both. isn't it? It's both. No, it's actually both, but it's targeting more AR. But like the commercial space of it, so you can basically go to work on what they call the nth floor. So every office will have an nth floor, and it'll be all these home workers. So you'll be able to like walk around like in the metaverse and like interact with them on this fucking. That's exactly Have what hotel the, like fucking, that's what the the meta the horizons trying to do. work room is. Yeah. Let's have a look at Meta Horizons. I've got but a they, video. This one? The thing where Meta are targeting the public, like the general uh, they can no, buy a VR headset for two hundred. I mean, I guess this works. Microsoft are purely commercial where like every home will have uh, an office. Work rooms, in it. work rooms. Point. Because they just made them so cheap. These are the one of these right, the sick. Of the sick, yeah, that's this guy. This one? No, that's a year ago. Yeah, no, <laughs> all, all of them are the that's, same. That's him, isn't it? No. It's cool, bro. It's cool. You can go in and like fucking you can go in and like go on the on the on the um blackboard and shit. And you can like bring your desktop in and shit. It's pretty sick. Can you hear the sound? No, I can't hear sound. No, no sound. But I I was looking at the, Aaron. I was looking at it on actual my quest, not on videos. So it's probably why it's different. You have a quest. Yeah, I've had a quest for ages, bro. That's what I'm saying. I go on. I'm always playing poker, VR poker, VR porn. No, I haven't tried that yet. You got the quest bullshit. Too. Bullshit. I you haven't. haven't tried that. I haven't. Yet. <laughs> I haven't. I swear to God, I haven't. <laughs> that was the VPN first thing. Well, you can't put a VPN on the Quest, so... Oh... <laughs> I, <laughs> <was guessing. laughs> I invested in that project. What, Quest? Sugar Browns. Sugar Browns. What? Sugar Babes. Sugar Browns. Oh, the VR porn. <laughs> yeah. Wait, sorry, sorry, Visa, did you just say you invested in VR porn? Yes. Big <laughs> money. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> have you got a friend that's making the up on? No, I have a friend who's, <laughs> who's funding that and then he gave me some allocation for that. Is this the same friend who doesn't set stop losses? <laughs> no, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, how do I make this? Can anyone remember? Guys, I'm going to have to shoot in a minute. Me? Yeah, I've got to go soon as well. Let me watch this video. How do I start do the sound thing again? Um, share options is it wherever oh. your little green button is? I'm looking at the share. Oh, share sound. Okay, let me have a look at this. I just had a meeting with Mark Zuckerberg. We talked about the future of work. I took notes on my laptop oh, God. with my ghost hands. Facebook's new workspace called But this is all because they don't have pass through enabled on this yet, because they only released pass through last month, which is so what's pass through? So pass through gives you the ability to merge VR with the real world. So you can so you can basically like cut out shapes or boxes in your world and when you look through those boxes you can actually see your surroundings so if you wanted to have your yeah. keyboard you'd like basically draw like a little rectangle ah okay and then so you'd be able to see your keys and stuff so you can actually type or if you wanted to have your screen on your next to you or whatever 
So they've they've got all these games now where you mix your VR with your AR. So like it will basically overlay like you're in a spaceship and it'll overlay everything in your room with like buttons. That'd be sick and, for a band and all that sort of stuff. So they could have their own drum kits and shit in it. Yeah, it's really cool. Honestly, it's really cool, man. This new MetaQuest Pro I've heard is actually pretty shit. Like it's really good for um, it's really good for professionals. But like for like a gamer like me, it's kind of wasted because it's one thousand five hundred dollars, which is quite a lot considering the um the quests are like two hundred, three hundred dollars. Um, but the new Oculus, the the Oculus Pro has face tracking because they was they were making the point that when you're in these VR spaces and they're trying to they're trying to market this towards like professionals like companies, so you can do your your meetings and stuff in VR. They've brought in face tracking so it actually tracks your eyes and your mouth and all that sort of stuff because that's where a lot of the connection comes from when you're talking to somebody and previously you know they're just like yeah, so link and shit from the beginning microsoft built the company with a project knowing that it was going commercial now this is where facebook are trying to catch up but before we go just type in microsoft mesh and check this out like it's shit on that there and it's you'd have these very I mean this is a year old you could have no I know but I'm talking like Microsoft done this five years ago before Facebook even owned Oculus and it's like <clears throat> the real use for these like I think it, it's just going to be like a 3D TV or any of these it's just a gimmick but the real use is in commercial space and like they, they will have a market share of course but if you look at the mesh it's unreal like what they've done there is like next level for they've already got all the tvs as well the microsoft surface hub which is like the business meeting thing so then you have that combined with these headsets and people could be sat in the actual chair so you've got a hologram in the real world and you can see I, but them looking sat. at the looking at the hologram hollow glass i don't see how it can be vr with the way it's the way it's set up It'll be like a screen, but it's, like I say, it's mainly AR. Type in. Yeah, mesh, I don't Adam. think it is VR because you don't have mesh. the you don't have the you, you don't have the encapsulation. Do you know what I mean? You have like all that light spill and stuff. It's 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 not putting you yeah. in your own world. It's more of a yeah. It's, I I don't see how it how it can do VR. And if it is, it's not very immersive. Check it out. It's been a while since I've looked at it. But another thing they've done, have you seen where they built like the Minecraft <coughs> on the table in front of them? So like the whole Minecraft world built on the table mm. in their house and they could walk around it and like zoom in, interact with it. So that's kind of similar to what you're saying, but the reverse of that box feature. Rather than taking something into the space, you're bringing something out of the space into the real world. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> like Oculus is doing the other, where they're taking items into the metaverse, where this is bringing them out. Because you could basically have like NFTs displayed on your wall and like little floating holograms around your house, and every yeah. time you put your headset on, you can see them, and they'll stay in them location. It'd be interesting to see what catches on more VR or AR. Um, listen, I gotta go, guys. Me too. Bedtime. Uh, Catch you guys later. Peace, everyone. Much love. Eat. Eat. See you guys. Good night.